Hello and welcome to Motorboats Monthly's practical section brought to you by Garmin. Today we're going to be looking at tidal height calculations. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at a tidal height calculation uh, for an anchoring scenario. Um, we pulled into Havilah Bay just here which is just south of St Peter Port in the Channel Islands. Um, we've checked our depth gauge and we've got three and a half metres of water where we've dropped our hook. It's the 26th of May, it's four o'clock in the afternoon British summer time and what we need to do now is we need to make sure because we're planning on staying overnight that we don't go aground over the low water period and that we put out enough chain for the high water period. Right, so now we're safely anchored up, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the times and the heights of the high and low water for the period that we're there. We're going to get that from the almanac. So we've made a note of our times of high and low water for St Peter Port. Um, sometimes you might need to do a secondary port calculation if required. Uh, and also remember that if you're there during the summertime, you need to add the hour for British summertime. Now that we've got our tidal information for the day, we need to put that onto the tidal graph. So we find the tidal graph in the almanac for St Peter Port, and here it is. And we start marking the information on there. And we start with the bottom line, putting the low water on. Now the low water is one metre, so we make a mark from the one metre. And the high water 9.7, so we go along the top, put down our 9.7 metre. And then we just draw a straight line between the two. Like so. The next thing we need to do is to write the time of high water in this box here, which is 2028. And then we write the hours before high water and after high water in all of these boxes. So, right, so we need to work out what the tidal height is at the point when we've arrived at our anchorage. Now we know we arrived at four o'clock um, in the afternoon. These boxes, the time in the box represents the middle, so half past four is the middle of that box. So four o'clock will actually be between the two on this line here. So what we now need to do is draw a line up towards the curve of the tidal graph. Now you notice that there's a solid red line and a dotted blue line. The solid red line uh, represents the spring tides and the dotted blue line is neap tides. Uh, the day in question, it's actually a spring tide, so we're going to be using the red line up to here. What we then do is we take a line horizontally across to our diagonal line that we drew earlier. Like that. And then we take another line straight up to the top graph. And that will give us our height of tide at the point when we've anchored. So we can see from there that we are at 2.6 at metres. That's the tidal height above chart datum or the time that we've anchored. Right, so now that we've worked out that we've got 2.6 metres of tide at the time that we've anchored, we can work out some of the other parameters from that. We know that our depth gauge shows 3.5 metres, so what we now know is that where we've chosen to anchor, it, there is a chart datum depth of 0.9 metres. What that means is that the lowest we're ever going to find in this position is 0.9 metres of water. Now, 0.9 would be a little bit tight normally because we draw a metre, but what we can also see from the almanac is that tomorrow's morning's low water is going to be 0.7 metres. So we can add that onto the chart datum, and that gives us a depth tomorrow morning at low tide of 1.6 metres, uh, which is obviously plenty for us. Um, the other thing we can work out is the amount of water we're going to have here at high tide just to make sure that we let out enough chain. Now we know tonight's high tide is going to be 9.7 metres. We can add to that the chart datum depth that we just worked out of 0.9 and that tells us that we're going to have 10.6 metres of tide or, or depth of water at high water tonight. So we just need to make sure now that we let out enough chain to cater for that depth of water. Well I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.